What are YouTube? You already know what it is. What it ain't. It's your boy Dell, and I'm back with another video. And today, now this shit look a little shocking right now. I ain't gonna cap. <clears throat> the story of Jay Green snitching after a deputy was shot dead. Nah, I was just watching Jay Green on um motherfucking YouTube and like, well, he was on live arguing with Track. About track not paying Melly mama and Melly brother, or 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 about Melly getting only Melly brother by Melly brother getting only one check or whatever, right? Turns out track had to clear the air and let people know that uh, this nigga Jay Green was lying or Melly mom was lying or something like that, I guess. But Melly had got on like live. I mean not live, but he was talking from like a jail phone type shit. And he was telling them like, nah, that nigga Jay Green is tripping. Like, uh, my brother good, my mama good. Like, my mama be lying to. Basically, he was just he was like letting it all be known, like letting it out for real. But I want to see, I want to hear about this nigga Jay Green snitching, cause like, I ain't gonna count. He claimed to be like super street, you know what I'm saying? Super street nigga. I like this nigga music. I hope he ain't no snitch. You know what I'm saying? Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, and I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. In this video, we're going to be speaking on paperwork stating Florida rapper Jay Green snitched in a shooting. But further digging around actually shows he wasn't the only one that snitched. Oh, shit. Hold on. All right, now look. Before we get to the video, y'all know 1090 Jake. This nigga know everything about everything, anything that having to do with the streets, the bloods, the crips, the GDs, the BDs, anything. Anything that's gangster going on that's written in paperwork, snitching, court documents, clunk of courts, anything. This nigga know everything, bro. So, I know for a fact, if this nigga say Jay Green snitching, it's in that paperwork and Jay Green just so happened to maybe snitching. You know what I'm saying? Let's get right to it. February 17th, 2017, Indian River County Sheriff's received a 911 call in reference to shots being fired and a man down. Arriving on scene, deputies discovered the victim, off-duty Sheriff's Deputy Gary Chambers. He was unconscious with what appeared to be a bullet hole to the left side of his chest and immediately transported to a nearby hospital where he later died. Investigators received information that a black Chevy Camaro being driven by McKeel Chambliss was involved with the shooting and fled from the scene prior to sheriff's arrival. At that point, a be on the lookout alert was issued and a deputy spotted a black Camaro traveling in the 7700 block of 58th Ave, roughly nine minutes away from the shooting scene. The vehicle was stopped and two occupants identified as McKeel Chambliss, who goes by the name Scooter, and his girlfriend Tia May were both detained at the scene before. Wait, so wait, I don't, I ain't gonna lie. Wait, like I'm trying to figure out, like, was it like a traffic stop? You know what I'm saying? Cause you, they saying they in a in a black Camaro and they just showed that motherfucker. Bruh in the bruh is in the music video on his same Camaro or whatever. So it, apparently it got to be his car. And for him to for him to like stop or whatever and them to catch him. Like, I feel like it had to be a traffic stop going wrong. Bro, probably had some shit in the car. Fuck around, end up shot at the police. Or some shit like that. Just some weird shit, bro. Like, there always be some weird shit that end up leading to some more weird shit. Transported to the Criminal Investigation Division, while the Camaro was transported to the Forensic Unit for further investigation. During an interview with Tia, she informed detectives she was riding with Scooter as they drove past his house when someone threw a bottle and hit his car. She admitted Scooter took out a gun, firing what she thought was two shots into the air. According to her, they were the only occupants inside of the vehicle, and she said someone outside of the vehicle began firing, which caused Scooter to drive off. She even went as far as checking to see if Scooter was shot because she believed they were firing at them. Scooter was interviewed next by detectives. He said while driving down 28th Ave, he heard a loud thump on the side of his car, so he stopped, observing several black males on the side of the road. Scoop. I ain't gonna lie. I don't think, I don't know if that's against the law. But like, I don't blame him. For, um, a bitch throw a bottle at my car. 
I don't blame you for for I don't blame you for really getting out the car, examining who who probably threw the bottle because you see a group of niggas, because it came from this area, and start firing. I don't I ain't gonna lie, I really don't blame him, but at the same time, that wasn't the smartest shit to do. I'm gonna just say that, like, cause it could have it, it could have went a little different. I mean, but at the same time, this nigga by himself with a female, and a and another and a group of niggas just threw a bottle in his car. What else could you expect him to do? Just keep driving? He gonna look like a bitch. Hey, Melly, as in y -N -W, Wait, whoa, hold on. Black males on the side of the road. Scooter named Melly, as in YNW Melly, as the one who threw whatever struck his car, saying Melly dipped between several vehicles parked alongside the road when he heard multiple gunshots causing him to drive off. Back at the scene, an interview was conducted with one of the witnesses who were present at the shooting. Witness number one informed detectives a large gathering was taking place after a wake was held for a woman named Levitra Blue who passed away five days prior. While everyone was outside, she saw a black Camaro pull up with Scooter in the driver's seat. According to her, Jacoby Mills was riding in the pack. Jacoby Mills? Who is that? Let me see. Oh, I don't know that nigga. He ain't no, he ain't no YNW. The female was in the back. That's when a verbal altercation started between Scooter and the son of the woman who passed away, Jalen Green. As the altercation escalated, Jalen threw a bottle at the Camaro. That's when the witness stated both Scooter and Jacoby started firing guns as she described seeing the fire coming out of the barrels of the weapons. She then said the Camaro drove up the road before opening fire again. That I'm always shopping the real rail. They drop over 10,000 new arrivals what? every day oh, from luxury brands I'm obsessed with. Deputy Gary Chambers was visiting family at his cousin's home. According to family, he was standing outside when gunfire erupted a block away. Bro, wait, after. whoa, so this, so this officer wasn't even on duty type shit. Like, he was on some, on some, <clears throat> I'm just visiting my family in the hood. And I'm an innocent bystander, and I get and I got hit. Like that's just I ain't gonna lie. Like what, bro? That's different. I ain't gonna cap. Yeah. Gary yelled for everyone to get low, pushing a cousin out of the way as bullets passed by. And soon after, Gary would collapse in the driveway. Just after midnight, a female witness told detectives Chris Lee. Jay Green, Armani Benefield, and Cortland Henry were responsible for shooting Gary. This nigga YNW Bortland is a uh, uh is in is in everybody case, bro. Like, god damn, boy. Your name do not stay out of big case. <laughs> like with like from the Jay Green I mean from not from the Jay Green shit, but from the Melly case. To, I mean from this case to the to the newer Melly case and shit now, like damn boy, you really get active, like and he out right now. Like, that's why I really feel like Melly gonna get out. Cause like, bro, if you gonna let the co-defendant out, you might as well let the other nigga out. Nigga out. Cause like, that mean you don't have enough evidence to hold either one of them. Yeah, so. Aimless. According to witness number two, Jay Green threw a bottle at Scooter's Camaro and Scooter fired a single shot into the air when Chris Lee and Jay Green pulled out guns and started firing. They continued shooting at the car as it drove off, and the witness went as far as saying there's no way Scooter fired the shot that killed the deputy. She further stated the beef between the two started weeks ago when Jamel Demons, aka YNW Melly, robbed Scooter. The witness reiterated the fact that she saw Scooter fire a single round into the air from inside of his Camaro, but it couldn't have been the shot that killed the deputy. When the detective asked about Jacoby Mills, who witness number one identified as being in the passenger seat, witness number two said he wasn't in the vehicle. Or if he was, he was leaned all the way down because she didn't see him. February 18th, the day after the shooting. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Witness number two said he wasn't in the vehicle. Or if he was, he was leaned all the way down because she didn't see him. He was definitely in the vehicle. Cause AO cap. This nigga was the nigga that they talking about. Nigga that they just showed in the box on the corner. That nigga was definitely in the vehicle because ain't no way you just gonna say he was he was not in the vehicle. But then you gonna say, oh, I ain't. If he was in the vehicle, 
is because I ain't see him because he probably was lean, lay, lean, lean, laying or leaning down type shit. Bitch, <clears throat> you could have just simply said, I did not see him in the vehicle. 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 Leave it at that. You did not say none of that old extra ass shit talking about some. And if he was, I did not see him. Bitch, you could just say, I did not see him in the vehicle. It's possible that a person could be in the vehicle and you did not see them. They could honestly be laying on the floorboard or the vehicle with a blanket over their back type shit. You know what I'm saying? I just be thinking that shit. February 18th, the day after the shooting, detectives interviewed Jay Green at the Indian River County Sheriff's Office. Jay Green told detectives he was standing on 28th Ave when he saw a scooter pull up in a black Camaro. Jay Green then stated someone threw an object at the car, striking it. Jay Green saw a scooter reach under the passenger seat and point a firearm in the air, discharging it three to four times before driving away. Whoa, you said Jay that Green shit? Said Wait, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a written statement. This nigga got the words at the bottom of the screen. I know y'all can see this shit. Jay Green. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I ain't gonna cap, like... You ain't even supposed to be saying no shit like that, and I know that for a fact. You supposed to be like, I ain't seen no, I, I just seen somebody shoot, I just seen somebody throw a bottle at bro car, and I heard shots. That's all you probably supposed to say. You done said, I seen a bit throw a bottle, I seen him reach under the seat, I seen him pull the gun out, I seen him fire in the air three to four times, I seen him pull off, I seen him go down the street and, and stop and shoot some more and pull off again. That's wild as fuck. The crowd were firing guns at Scooter's car, but he couldn't identify them. Due to three witness statements, including two women and Jay Green, McKeel Chambliss, or Scooter, was arrested that day and charged with discharging a firearm from a vehicle within a thousand feet of any person. News of the arrest spread quickly as the question arose if Scooter fired the round that killed the deputy who shared his last name. And news articles would also report the two were related Scooter being the son of the deputy's nephew. Now ain't that about a bitch. You and this man got the same last name. And now you probably about to be charged with his murder. Due to the fact that Jay Green and some other motherfuckers said they seen you fire. And the girl that was in the car with you said they seen you fire a gun into the air. Pitching accusations caused two very different narratives to be created, one of which was Jay Green apparently justifying the statement he made to detectives. According to Jay Green's team, the statement he gave to police actually helped Scooter's case because Jay Green told Detective Scooter fired into the air. Had Jay Green told detectives he fired in his direction, Scooter would have been facing attempted murder. Not only that, but Scooter made multiple attempts to reach out to Jay Green, allegedly saying Jay Green did help his case. But when Jay Green wouldn't respond, Scooter flipped the narrative and said Jay Green was a rat. Ads on YouTube must be so annoying. But with three clicks, you can install an ad blocker and you'll never see ads again. Step one. The second narrative according to Hang on not. That was kinda um You can tell that was kinda like sincere. Like even though like he ain't really like 1090J said he called Jay Green a rat. He ain't really even necessarily called Jay Green a rat. He kinda just said what was up about the situation. He said he hit bruh up and um 
he wasn't fucking with him, but he basically saying like, don't keep telling people that you wrote a statement to help my situation. Cause like, even though it did kind of help my situation, you didn't write it to help my situation. You wrote it cause you wrote it. You see what I'm saying? Buddha is Jay Green flat out snitched. To say Jay Green helped his case is an obvious lie. Jay Green's statement matched every other statement given, meaning all of them told the same story. Not one person said Scooter aimed at anyone, and nothing was actually shot except the sky and the deputy. According to Scooter, Jay Green was told by his aunt to give a statement to detectives the next day, and he was driven by a friend to the police station. Scooter believes Jay Green told in order to make himself look good as everyone who was present that day became a suspect in the shooting death of the deputy, including YNW Melly and Bortland, who were both allegedly present. But what Scooter didn't say is how he was trying to save himself. According to documents within the Indian River court site, Scooter's lawyer filed a motion to dismiss charges under Florida's Stand Your Ground law. The motion states on January 9th, 2017, Scooter was the victim of an armed robbery committed by Jamel Demons, aka YNW Melly. The motion would continue to say on the day of the deputy shooting, Melly unlawfully and forcefully attempted to enter Scooter's vehicle while Scooter and his girlfriend were inside. It was known to Scooter that Melly wished harm on him and many threats had been made against his life during the short time since he was robbed, so he used only defensive force by firing the gun into the air. Now this changes everything, because not only has Scooter accused Jay Green of snitching, which technically he did, but Scooter tried to throw Melly under the bus by saying Melly previously robbed him with a weapon and was attempting to force himself in his car, when in all actuality, somebody smacked his Camaro with the bottle. The courts didn't believe the story either, and Scooter would end up taking an open plea, resulting in him being sentenced to four years probation, with early termination after two years and no violations. Scooter would violate shortly after, and officers would recover a Glock 42, resulting in a three-year prison sentence. Mm. Now, even if Scooter denies saying Melly robbed him, everything in that motion was approved by Scooter, as the lawyer works for him and not the other way around. So there's no way he can say he didn't know about what the lawyer was pushing out. But back to Jay Green. If you're gonna portray yourself as a gangster rapper, there's no excuse you can give for providing a police statement in which you told police who fired shots. Just like there's no excuse for Scooter telling police Melly robbed him and he was in fear for his life, Melly was gonna turn him into a victim. To say that you helped the man's case doesn't even make sense. Who the fuck gives a police statement as a favor to who allegedly just shot at you? And while Scooter may have been pulling a clout move trying to expose Jay Green, he exposed his own paperwork trying to place blame on Melly, even going as far as identifying Melly as the one who threw the object at his car. And under Florida law, Melly could have been charged with throwing a deadly missile in an occupied vehicle, the same charge Baby Soldier was arrested for when he threw a rock at a car. Now this is wild, right? Because wait, you threw a, wait, face. what? You just go to jail for throwing a rock at a car, and it can be charged as a deadly missile? The jump for the start throwing rocks and high my hand. But it was shot to me by, I think a total of like four or five different people. Oh, yo, he snitched, he snitched, da da da. He told who shot, whatever, whatever. So I did a little bit of digging into it. Because if that's literally what it says, how is he in the position that he's in? Nobody's talked about it before. And the story that I received from people close to Jay Green was that Scooter was clout chasing. Scooter said he didn't snitch, tried to be friendly with Jay Green because his career was going up, starting to boom. And when Jay Green dubbed him, that's when Scooter was like, nah, he's a rat. So if he was trying to be friendly for clout and benefit himself, it didn't work, it backfired. So Scooter did the next best thing, which is, oh, he's a rat trying to get clout off the man's downfall. But in the process of this happening, I discovered the paperwork where he literally names Melly as the one that threw the bottle, which could have produced charges on Melly. And then again, tells lawyers that Melly apparently robbed him, which I couldn't find any paperwork 
stating that Melly was ever arrested for this, but the fact that you're saying, yeah, he robbed me, this and that, it happened on this day, that's why I was in fear for my life, because he tried to get in my car, so I shot in the air, that's telling. You can't say he's a snitch and say that you're not for what you did. You can't blame the lawyer when the lawyer works for you. Anything, any angle that he's going to try and fight, he's going to present to you and he's going to get the green light. So most likely, if you didn't come up with it, he came up with it, sat down with you and said, look, we're going to blame Melly and say that you shot in self-defense. All right, boom, let's do it. <clears throat> that didn't work neither. Then you get probation. You're not even in prison because of Jay Green. You got probation, got caught with another gun, and then got sent to prison. It sounds like a lot of motherfuckers was telling. And what's interesting about this is the first witness said Scooter was in the car with one of the snitches in the YNW double murder case. So there's a lot of motherfuckers that seem to be talking to the police and giving statements. You really can't be pointing fingers when your ass is doing the same thing. But let me know y'all thoughts and opinions in the comment section. At the end of the day, paperwork can rarely be disputed, especially when it's in depth. How it is in this case. It's 1090 Jake. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. Until next time. Alright, 1090 Jake. I'm gonna fuck with you. But y'all, y'all wanna see more videos like this? Subscribe to my channel. Y'all go subscribe to uh, In Descendants. You know what I'm saying? 1090 Jake. He rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with him. It's your boy Dale. I'm rocking with y'all. Y'all rocking with me. I'll see y'all in the next video. ATL Jacob, ATL Jacob